The Melbourne Tigers and North Melbourne Giants are just one game away from being eliminated from the 1991 NBL playoffs. The Adelaide 36ers beat... Today's Underwood Stakes at Caulfield has unearthed new outright favourites for both the Caulfield and Melbourne Cups. With his fighting win in the Underwood, Dr Grace is the new Caulfield Cup favourite. Trainer Jeff Chapman says the doctor will definitely start. Third place Shiva's Revenge is now outright Melbourne Cup favourite, aiming to give Bart Cummings his ninth win in the race. The Quad Extra for 1, 2, 9 and 5... $1,876.45 and the straight six, the numbers 10, 2, 1, 2, 9 and 5 paid $210,112.20 and there were two live units. And and I, no, we didn't have them. <laughs> All right, thank Thanks, you, Mary. Albert. Now to our weather with Paul Higgins. Thank you, Mary, and good evening, everyone. Well, Bureau records show it has rained on 45% of show days so far, and after today it'll be nudging 46%, I guess. We did have a bit of rain in the city today, just uh, 0.4 millimetres of rain, but last night a feral soaking 7 millimetres. And in fact, out at Melbourne Airport, we got to about 13 millimetres of rain. As you can see today around the state, most of the rain fell up in the northeast. Quite a few thunderstorms up there. I believe the ski lifts had to be turned off at one stage because of lightning. And 3 millimetres worth at Mount Beauty was the heaviest fall. Now around the state today, 22 degrees up at Mildura, 7 degrees today at Falls Creek and also at Mount Buller. Here in Melbourne, 11 overnight and we got to a top of 14 degrees, 14.1 14 in fact, at 1.40 this afternoon. And there's the temperatures around the rest of the state today, quite mild along the Murray as you can see, up around 20 degrees. In the capitals today, rain in Canberra and also near Sydney, there were some storms brewing in that part of the world as well. Now on the cloud chart, not a great deal to show. That low pressure trough which created those thunderstorms around the northeast and up towards Sydney, just moving into the Tasman now, and there is a cold front moving up towards us, though we won't see that until Saturday, of course. As you can see there, there is in fact this ridge of high pressure moving towards us. So we're into a bit of a southeasterly airstream at the moment. That led to the showers in the south of the state. That cold front though will move through sometime early on Saturday morning. So we will see some showers during the day on Saturday, I'm afraid. Interstate tomorrow, showers clearing from Sydney. Thundery in Brisbane, clearing in Canberra. And a change coming up for Adelaide, but a very nice 23 before that arrives. Now for southern New South Wales, some showers in the eastern part uh, clearing tonight. It should be a mild and sunny day tomorrow. And there's the flood warnings. They're slowly decreasing. In fact, only minor flooding on the Goulburn, Murray and Latrobe in parts. Now for Victoria, showers and storms in the northeast clearing overnight. Early fog, then a cool to mild day right throughout. Bit of drizzle in the south overnight tonight too. And there's the temperatures up as high as 23 degrees at Mildura. On the bay, south southeast leads to 15 knots, but becoming variable back to only 10 knots tomorrow. For Melbourne, early fog, then a fine day with light winds, 7 to 18 degrees. As I mentioned, some showers coming up Saturday. Sunday becoming fine, about 18 degrees. And then Monday, not looking too bad, about 20. As far as the snow is concerned, still excellent skiing at all those places, though the snow is softening just a little bit towards the end of the season, and there's even some sightseeing snow up at Mount Donabuang. Don't you wish you were there, Mary? Maybe. OK, thank you, Paul. To finance now, offshore buying helped lift what was otherwise a flat day on Australian share markets. News Corporation was up 40 cents, and Coles market... ...to change what happens to patient care. The patients will have to be moved elsewhere. The report recommends developing Fairfield into a research centre for infectious diseases. Patients would be diverted to other hospitals, such as the Alfred, Austin, Royal Melbourne and Royal Children's. Last month, nearly 1,000 hospital and community workers rallied in an effort to save Fairfield Hospital. Health Minister Maureen Lister says no decisions have been made on any of the recommendations in the report nor the future of Fairfield. She'll accept public submissions over the next three months. The care of people at Fairfield will continue for the short term and the medium term. If the government does decide next January to close Fairfield Hospital, it may take two years to implement. Melbourne Victory over England. Final television. Same. One not to miss. Another emphatic display and world number one Stefan Edberg is through to the semi-finals of the Australian Indoor Tennis Championships. He's into the semi-final. Turnbull Stakes Day at Flemington tomorrow and Greg Miles says Durbridge will buy more. And your selection was? Let's elope. It's a long shot. let me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks Arthur. Now Paul Higgins has been looking into his crystal ball with the weekend's weather. 
And the tip is looking good, Mary. We'll just keep you in suspense for a little bit longer. Good evening, everyone. It uh, looks like those hazy days of summer that they were seeing about have come a little early. Today it was a beautiful afternoon, but still very hazy. Visibility in the city down to around 5 to 8 kilometres, depending on which suburbs you're in. And we didn't quite get into the 20s as expected. 17.9 was our top. That came at 1.35 this afternoon. Not that we're complaining, it's beautiful weather, isn't it? 32 today at Oyen and only 13 degrees up at Mount Hotham. Perhaps a little bit closer up to that direction. And as you can see, it was a bit cooler in the Alps, but otherwise up into the high 20s and uh, low 30s in the northern part of the state. Now, around the nation today, only some rain in Perth. They had six millimetres worth, which is a reasonable amount over there. We can still see the remnants uh, of a low-pressure trough. Also, this cold front, which has been heading our way now for nearly a week, it seems. In actual fact, there's two uh, cold fronts coming up. But uh, before we get onto that, this high-pressure ridge right across Bass Strait is what's keeping the weather so beautifully stable at the moment. This low up here is, in fact, weakening out, so we shouldn't expect too much instability from that in the northern states but the cold front is moving towards us that wind from the northwest will really strengthen during the day tomorrow and we'll see a cool change sometime in the early hours of sunday morning here in melbourne with just a bit of rain but there will be some rain tomorrow in perth some morning showers over there some late showers down in hobart too a cloudy day for sydney and late change coming up in adelaide but 28 before that arrives so for southern new south wales isolated morning fogs but then a warm and mostly sunny day coming up and we still have that warning of minor flooding for the murray downstream of lake hume for victoria warm and sunny with that north wind strengthening just a little bit as the day goes on coastal sea breezes but there will be a change tomorrow night before that arrives though you can see we're getting up into the high 20s low 30s once again in some parts. On the bays, northerly winds 10 to 15 knots with waves to a metre. So for Melbourne, fine, warm and sunny with a north breeze at 27 degrees tomorrow. That'll be beautiful, won't it? Sunday though, the change first thing in the morning will take us back to a top of only 18, maybe a shower or two during the day. Monday, fine, 18. And Tuesday, a few showers at 17 degrees. Mary. Paul Higgins, thank you very much.